Hello everyone and welcome back. As always, I'm your girl Candy Washington. And before we dive into today's kiki, which is watching Erica Jane's reaction to Tom Girardi's indictment on 12 fraud counts and and he's facing up to 20 years in federal prison for stealing nearly $18 million from former clients. As we know, he's stolen way more than that, but this is what the current charges are. And don't worry, you guys, I have a clip of it so we can watch that in a little bit. But before we dive in, you know what to do. Go ahead and like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss it when we go live. Also, be sure to share this with a friend because a key key is always better with community. Check out our description box down below and join our newsletter. It's free. It's free, you guys, and check out all of our courses. So with that, let's dive right on in. So this is according to Reality Blurb. It says, Real Housewives of Beverly Hills star Erica Jane breaks her silence. Erica Jane reacted to a strange husband, Thomas Girardi's recent indictment while out in Los Angeles on Wednesday after the disbarred attorney was charged with wire fraud after reportedly stealing $18 million from his former clients, including relatives of victims of the Lion Air plane crash. The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills star was seen leaving the Burbank Town Center where she answered questions about Tom Thomas's ongoing legal battle. Wow. Did you hear? Okay, so let's let's watch it, you guys, because I have a clip of it, okay? Let's watch, and then we can keep going with the article. Okay, let me pull it up. One sec. Here we go. Hi, Erica. Hi. How are you today? Great. Did you hear about Tom Girardi getting charged with wire fraud? I did. He's facing years in prison. 20 years, I heard. Do you, What's your reaction to that? You know, I have something to say. Yeah, please. Not right now. Oh, okay. So, you know, you'll hear from me soon. I just wondered, are, are you worried ab about yourself at all in your situation? No. You're... Do you think he deserves to be charged? Did you not hear what I just said to you five seconds ago? That I would have something to say when I'm ready to say. I understand, Thank Erica. You. No, you don't understand. Hi, Erica. Oof. Someone's so angry. Erica with the stank attitude. Girl, bye. So let's continue with the article. It said, did you hear about Tom? And put it down in the chat box. Put it down in the comment section. What do you think about that clip? What do you think about her attitude with the guy? How cavalier she was? Oof, someone is so angry. <laughs> but let's keep going. All right. So next, uh, so it said, did you hear about Tom Girardi getting charged with wire fraud? A Daily Mail photographer asked Erica as she made her way to her car on February 1st. I did, replied Erica, who was wearing a light blue Alexander Wang sweatsuit and sunglasses. Side note, this is the same chick who keeps trying to lie and say that she's broke and that she's destitute and everything. Girl, bye. You're still out here wearing Alexander Wang that's expensive, you know, sunglasses and sweatsuits. You were just in Paris Fashion Week rocking Kenzo. You know, I'm never going to support Kenzo again. Um, she's still in her multi-million dollar house or in, a, I was going to say mansion, but she had the Pasadena mansion, but she's in her multi-million dollar home here in, Hol in West Hollywood. Girl, bye. And she still has her glam squad. She still has her Range Rovers and all her other fancy cars. She still has her designer clothes, all of the jewelry, all of the expensive artwork. And she still has her um, other accounts that she has access to, like the Wells Fargo account in Florida. And that's probably only one of many accounts. But girl, I don't think money's going to get you out of this one. Not that they've indicted Tom now. Mm -mm. Let's keep going. He's facing years in prison, 20 years, I heard. Do you, what's your reaction to that? The photographer continued. But the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills cast member wasn't ready to share and told the man, you know, I have something to say, but not right now. You'll hear from me soon. Before confirming she was not worried about, quote, 
her own situation. When the man pressed on, asking if she felt Thomas deserves to be charged, Erica snapped. Did you, did you not hear what I said to you five seconds ago? That when I would have something to say, I would say it to you, she asked. She was nasty. She was so, so nasty. As the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills fans may have heard, Thomas was indicted by both Chicago and L.A. after being accused of stealing $3 million from the relatives of plane crash victims and $15 million from other past clients. However, due to the Alzheimer's diagnosis he received in early 2021, it's unclear if he will be deemed fit to stand trial. Side note, I also heard that the judge is going to, either the judge has already said he is competent or they are going to order more tests, like actual neurological tests to confirm that he really does have Alzheimer's and he's not faking it the way the majority the majority of us believe that he is, right? Okay, here we go. Um, according to the report, Thomas, who is currently living in a memory care facility in Orange County, is believed to have stolen the funds to pay American Express bills and country club memberships, and he is facing a maximum prison sentence of 20 years. Side note, don't forget there is also, I believe the trustees are also suing American Express, it seems as though American Express was complicit in the fraud because they were benefit from it. They were benefiting from the fraud. You know, as they said, he was stealing all this money, but still paying American Express. Right. So there is a suit against American Express that's pending, too. In addition to Thomas's indictment earlier this week, his son-in-law, David Lyra, who was also indicted in Chicago, while his former chief financial officer, Christopher Kamen was indicted with Thomas in L.A. This, to me, is really, really bad for Erica because I don't think that David or Christopher has any allegiance to her. Tom might try to protect her, but I don't think these other men are. They are going to throw her all the way under the bus to get a sweeter deal. Because at this point, and this is my theory on this, because some people were like, oh, you know, if they were going to charge Erica, wouldn't they have charged her when they charged Tom? I don't think so. I think that they had enough to charge Tom, but they're still building their case against Erica. And I think now that they have David and Christopher, they're going to give more evidence against Erica so that the feds can get her too. So Erica, you better watch out, girl. And there's another article on that regarding Erica, and we can go through that one in a little bit. We can talk about that one, too. Okay. As Thomas faces his recent indictment, Erica continues to fight against a $25 million lawsuit from Thomas's bankruptcy trustee, as well as a member of other lawsuits related to Thomas's fraud crimes. Girl, bye. Girl, bye. All right. Since we have more people in the room, I'm going to replay the clip from the Daily Mail, and we can watch it together, okay? Here we go. Hi, Erica. Hi. How are you today? Great. Did you hear about Tom Girardi getting charged with wire fraud? I did. He's facing years in prison, 20 years, I heard. Do you, what's your reaction to that? You know, I have something to say. Yeah, please. Not right now. Oh, okay. So, you know, you'll hear from me soon. I just wondered, are, are you worried ab about yourself at all in your situation? No. You're... Do you think he deserves to be charged? Did you not hear what I just said to you five seconds ago? That I would have something to say when I'm ready to say. I understand, Thank Erica. You. No, you don't understand. Hi, Erica. Oof, Erica was so angry. So angry. But let's see, you guys. So let's talk about whether or not she should be worried, okay? Let's talk about whether or not she should be worried. I have another article. This one is from Us Magazine, okay? And this one is talking about, let me change this real quick. So this one is talking about whether or not Erica should be worried about her own situation, okay? So let's dive in. 
Erica Jane investigation is, quote, ongoing after Tom Girardi's indictment. Will she be on the witness list? So this is according to Us Weekly. So this one says, keeping quiet for now. Erica Jane has some thoughts about a strange husband, Tom Girardi's indictment on wire fraud charges, but she's not ready to share them just yet. She, we, they go over everything we just talked about. The former lawyer, 83, was charged, blah, 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 blah. Okay, now let's go. Wait, hold on one second, guys. Oh my goodness, stop, get off. Okay. What next for Erica Jane after her estranged husband, Tom Girardi, was indicted? Whether the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills star will have a new role in this ongoing legal case is still to be determined. Erica Jane is not charged. The investigation is ongoing. Syrian um, McAvoy, public information officer for the Department of Justice, told Us Weekly on Wednesday, February 1st, hours after Tom was charged with five counts of wire fraud. A source notes that the indictment, which alleges Tom embezzled more than $15 million from his client, focuses on the activity involving the law firm. The insider says it's unclear if Erica will be on the witness list for prosecutors because the indictment was just unsealed. The Bravo star has yet to publicly comment on the latest in Tom's legal woes as he remains in a senior living facility and is allegedly battling late onset Alzheimer's and dementia. Tom's brother, Robert Girardi, was named the conservator of his person and estate in 2021. Thomas Vincent Girardi should have been a pillar to our community, Tyler Hatcher, a special agent in charge of the IRS Criminal Investigations Los Angeles Field Office, said on Wednesday. Instead, he focused on creating an elaborate scheme to mislead his clients, victimizing them for a second time. Attorneys are put in a position of trust when they represent us during some of our most difficult times. Mistrust in the legal profession grows when clients can't trust their attorneys to pay them the settlements intended to make them whole. Erica filed for divorce, blah, 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 blah. Okay, then we go on to everything else that we know. So, yeah, Erica, girl, you should be shaking in your boots, shaking in your boots. They said that the situation is still ongoing. And like I said before, people are like, oh, you know, does this mean Erica's in the clear? They've indicted Tom. They've indicted the brother-in-law. They've indicted the CFO. But there's been no charges against Erica yet. And like I said, I don't think that means Erica's in the clear. I think that means that they're still building their case against her. And it's only going to get stronger now that they have indicted Tom and the and David and also, um, what do you call it, do, 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 the CFO, Christopher Kamen. And I actually think that Erica shot herself in the foot. And I'm going to tell you why. Like we said before, when we were talking about um, Jen Shaw, how she kind of like thumbed her nose to, you know, the, the legal system, like when they make people look bad, I feel like Erica Jane has done the same. I think that if Erica Jane had actually played, played it like the mistress played it, and I'm going to tell you what I mean by that. So we know that Tom Girardi's mistress, who he who he got through, who he paid for all of her law school, he paid for her plastic surgery, he gave her expensive gifts, he gave her $300,000 to buy some vacation lake house with or whatever the hell it was. And when the feds came a knocking, she complied. She gave back as much money as she could. She gave back... Um, you know, the gifts. She gave back the house, all of this stuff. She complied. Did she want to comply? No. Do I think it means she is on a higher moral ground than Erica? No, because she only complied because she had to. She didn't offer it voluntarily. When the feds knocked on the door, she gave it over. Now, this is why I say Erica shot herself in the foot. Erica has fought, this, has fought tooth and nail the law from the very beginning. Look at what she did with the earrings. I think if Erica said, you know what? I'm innocent. I had nothing to do with this. I don't even know if Tom is guilty or not. You know, she could even play that stupid card. But I know that there are victims. So I'm going to do what I can. And I am going to give over the earrings. I'm going to give over some stuff. 
You know, if she actually had one shred, I don't think she's capable of empathy, but if she just pretended, I think that she could have probably skated. Do you know what I mean? I think she really could have skated. But the FBI, the federal government, when you fight them, they fight you back. And that's really why I think Erica is really going to go down. Because she has been fighting them tooth and nail. Not only when the judge said, no, you need to give the earrings back. What did she do? She appealed it. We're, we're on appeal for legal reasons. Girl, 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 girl. When you fight the law, it's like that song. I fought the law and the law won. Why are you fighting the FBI and the feds and the judge and all of this when you are totally in the wrong? Girl, bye. Erica, you shot your own self in the foot on this one. You really did. Because if there's one thing the federal government does not like is when people try to embarrass them, when people try to get um, over on them, and when people think that they are above them. Because they really believe that no one is above the law. Right? Right? So it's crazy, it's crazy, it's crazy. But put it down in the chat box below. I want to know what you guys think. You know, I want to know what you think about a couple of things. One, do you think that this is the be the beginning of the end for Erica? That the fact that they've indicted Tom, the the brother, the son in law, the CFO, that Erica is next, or do you think no? This means Erica's in the clear. If they were going to get Erica, they would have gotten her with Tom. Put it down below. Let me know what you think. And also, what do you think about Erica's reaction?